Good morning, Riley. Good morning. Welcome to day nine of Vlogmas. Oh my gosh, it's gone by so fast. It is going by fast. You're at work this morning? Yeah. Getting set up? Yeah, the marshmallows. Dilemma number three. Dilemma number three? There's no marshmallows? No. Why do you need marshmallows? Um, they like roast them at the fire. Oh. Uh, and they sing into them. They're marshmallows. They oh, that's cute. Yeah, and I need them and I can't find them. <laughs> well, why don't you go get back to work? Okay. And I'll talk to you later. I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hello folks, I've had the laziest, quietest morning, which I think I was overdue for. Watched some Vlogmas stuff and then some Squid Games Challenge on Netflix and worked on a few projects. Only one of them I'm really going to show you because the others are gifts and I don't want to spoil anything. This is going to be a little dinosaur. The spot in the back is where the tail is going to come out and then I think it's going to get some little steggy things there. I've been like thwarted twice now working on this little, well, a different dinosaur and then this one for my niece Gabriella. Um, oh, I didn't bring the other one up here with me, but I started it and I thought I knew where to put in the eyes and I put in the safety eyes and they were on the bottom side of the head. So that wasn't gonna work. Then with this one, I was using a Knit Picks Brava Mini and I would have run out of yarn. So I thought I had another one, I did not, but these two are pretty close. So now I'm striping them. And I think it's working out pretty good. So almost done with this one. I finished another toy this morning and then worked on my mom's mitts. So that is what the morning has looked like, which was exactly what I wanted to do. For now, let's go ahead and open our advents for today. We've got Legacy Fiber Arts Day 9. It's like perfect Christmas bonbon, land of sweets, pink. All right, and then we've got one from my friend, Lauren. Beautiful deep dark green, I love it. Thank you, Lauren. And we have Goosey Fibers. Our Wizard of Oz collection, we're up to day five on this one. We're doing every other day. Can see the color and I don't know what to guess. We've already had the scarecrow and it's similar colors so what could it be? I don't know maybe like the Kansas fields? No the lion hollow. <laughs> it's really beautiful. I love it. Awesome. Um, well, let's see. Oh, I also did my stripe for today on my advent socks. I'm only keeping up with one of them. The other's a bit further behind. We're moving into some beautiful blues. Very fun. I've got quite a mountain beside me here on the couch. All right, well, that is gonna be it for a little bit. I need to tidy up the house a little bit. My niece Hattie's coming for a sleepover tonight and the guest room is where like Christmas decorations we didn't put out and things like that have ended up. So I need to clear out that room, tidy up a bit. And then I'm gonna go see her in the Funky Nutcracker at five o'clock tonight and then bring her back with me. So more later.
downstairs for a few minutes. I thought I'd show you some of the projects that I'm working on and I need to switch out the needles. You might've noticed I've been knitting a lot on my hat that I just started the other day because, well, the reason for this is that these needles, the join is not great and it's it's gotten that way over time. You probably won't be able to see it, but like it kind of moves in and out. It's like the needle wants to come apart and I don't enjoy that, especially when I'm like trying to knit in the dark at a show. So I'm still loving these. This is Area 51 Fibers. They are one of our Pigskin Party sponsors this season. I love this yarn. I bought this before I even knew they were gonna sponsor it this year in my little Ann Beatty bag. I don't know if Ann is still selling bags. She's one of my local knitting group friends. We don't meet anymore, but Ann does beautiful work. Look at the inside. Love it. So I'm gonna switch out the needles on those in a minute. So I did work a lot on the hat. I will tell you, pro tip, if you um, are practicing, you know, knitting in the dark or in the theater and things like that, and you are worried that you're gonna drop a stitch, bring two projects. That way, when you think you drop a stitch, you put that project away, deal with it later, and move on to the next, and you're not stuck without any knitting. <laughs> Ask me how I've learned that lesson, so. I've gotten really far on this. This is the same as it ever was, Hat by Sarah Jordan, also a Pigskin Party sponsor. Out of Knit Picks Felici in the Beatnik colorway. Ball band has seen better days. And this is an old um, Suburban Stitcher Nutcracker bag, which upon closer inspection, apparently I think at some point got some coffee spilled all over it. So it is still gorgeous, but maybe needs a bath. So those are the two, those two projects. And then I mentioned earlier that my five-year-old niece Hattie is coming over for a sleepover tonight after her show. And she asked for a pair of socks for Christmas, which is kind of funny. And I don't know if she's actually gonna like them or not, but I am doing scrappy heel gull socks for her. She wanted pink, purple, and blue. Sorry, there goes my phone. Um, yeah, she wanted pink, purple, and blue. I have a video on the channel, if you're new here, for combining Kate's clasp weft join with helical knitting. So you can use even just like teeny tiny little balls of scrap, I mean, even smaller than that. Like we're talking tiny, tiny. You can use little bits like that and then not have to weave in the end. You have to weave in the first one and the last one. But when you do this method, you end up overlapping the yarn. So then for each time you switch colors, you get these little tails, but I will just cut these down pretty close and you don't have to weave them in at all. So it's beautiful. So yeah, I've got all different, <laughs> of course you can't really see them. Tons of little minis in here. Actually, let's do it this way. Okay, that's a little better. So many fun little scraps. Time to hit the road for one more show this weekend. Oh, that's a lie. I'm going to Hattie's school Christmas concert tomorrow. So strike that, two out of three.
this pan is still very hot, all right? Okay. So you're not gonna touch the pot itself, okay? But you can do the cheese. Why can they not see my face and why are you vitting in it? I'm gonna share it with my friends, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna make mac and cheese. You wanna show them how we do it? What part are you doing? The you can, cheese. See, you can lean down and tell them. The cheese. We got one hungry dancer. All right, you're gonna pour it in, and then do you want me to do the whisk part? I think I'll do the whisk. You'll do the whisk, okay, great. How about it? Here, can we do this? Wow. Whisk it up, baby. Don't go too fast, you make people sick. Can, can we have a ride in the tractor? Of course. Yay! Yeah. So what are we gonna do tonight? You wanna do a craft? tonight mm -hmm. and then we'll do pancakes and tractor ride in the morning. But what about my show? What show do you want to watch? Before I have to get a crafty show. A crafty show? Do you know any crafty shows? Gabby's Dollhouse. There's a baby box who makes crafts. Okay little sheep, ready? <laughs> then the the nice sheep runs out, but mm. I'm a cheeky sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, shepherds. Ah! Ah! <laughs> and then isn't Pooh a bear? Lisa, side. Lisa, side. side. Yeah. Yay. Up. Relevant. Right, Those are the white sheep are the uh, night sheep, but you are the black sheep. So when I'm done doing the nose, I do that. Uh, and then the person to that. <laughs> the end. Good job, hooray. Okay. Sure. Um, what do you need? Hmm. Any more things I need? If I need glue. I don't know yet. Um, how about you push up your sleeves a little bit? Can we, can we roll these up just so we don't get anything on them? Okay. Thank you, Auntie Jen. You're welcome. Thank you for being a good listener. I'm just so excited to make one of these. Yeah, I know. I can tell. Do you think Millie did one of these when she was little? Do I think Millie would what? Did Auntie? Did Millie do this when she was little? I don't know. I don't think so. I think this is the first time. You're my half Auntie Jen because you're not actually my aunt. Yeah. But I only have sleepovers whenever I do a big show or something. Whenever my mom says I can come here. And I come here on Uncle Rick's birthday and I come here to make <laughs> crafts. Yeah. Mom gets Sometimes rest. we have sleepovers just because, but it's been a little while, so you might not really remember that. Do you remember sometimes in the summer you would just come for a sleepover? Yeah. But then you were in Ireland for a while, and then we've all been pretty busy since you got back, huh? Mm-hmm. That's why I wanted to... That's why I'm really excited. Yeah. Wow! wow. That came out so good. All right, what should we it? fix him? It looks ugly. I know. That's what I mean. i got to fix him. It's right. supposed to be like this. Whenever I look, ooh, it looks like his head actually fell off. I like, know, it does. It's not it's good. It's like blood. It's like blood. Well, there's like dry glue in there. All right. I'm going to put some glue on here and hope that this does the trick, right? I'm going to hold it real good. Can I do the holding? Yeah, go ahead. Because it's not hot. The head. Ooh. This is not supposed to be up there. It's supposed to be down. No, I think he's like his glasses are on top of his head like this. You know, sometimes you don't need to wear your glasses. Mm -hmm. Just Why? put them up. I like your earrings. Thank you. I'm gonna start to make another bah humbug thing. Okay. 
Oh, he looks better already. Do you see he has little hand knit socks? Isn't that cutie? And he has one of them on and this one he didn't put it on yet. Isn't that cute? <laughs> but well, how would it come on? Do you have a shoe what comes on his? Thing? No. Why? It's not supposed to go on. It's just supposed to be like a, it's a little statue and this guy didn't have a chance to put his little socks on yet. What is this? I think it's a little tag about the people who make it. Or it might be a story. Oh, it might be a story, yeah. Will I read it? Okay. This side, Santa and Mrs. Claus. It was early Christmas morning. Santa's work was almost done, and he flew, and home he flew quite tired over rooftops past the sun. He had one last gift to deliver. One. Wait. There's one more gift. Oh, there is. Wait. I don't think it comes out. It's just pretend. All right, let's listen to the end. He had one last gift to deliver, one last precious token to someone very special, very dear, where love is quietly spoken. Well, that's pretty. There was a story. How did you know that was going to be in there? Ooh, Hattie, look. His head's not falling off anymore. Wow. Do you need a boost to get back up? Oh, all right. Now I'm going to give it to him. You are? Do you want to tell them what you just made? I just made something for my Uncle Dan. He's going to love it. So, this is what Mr. Scrooge is, and it's his not favorite color. It's but his I'm... not favorite color because you asked him what his least favorite color was, and what did he say? Do you know what the word was? Bah humbug. No, what color did he say? Um, it was a, it was a long word. Do you remember what it was? Chartreuse. Chartreuse. So you picked a yucky kind of. This color. Yeah. And then what does the note say? Do you know? You made it up and I wrote it down. Do you want me to read it to them? Yes. Okay. It says, Uncle Dan, I know you love this color. Bah humbug. Love Hattie. Mm. Now can I give it to him? Sure. I'm excited. I kind of. I hope you like the story of it, Diamond. Okay, let me see it. Is it chartreuse? <laughs> I can't see it. Bah humbug! <laughs> Is this an earring? No, it's I think, I think up. where does an earring? Hang on. <laughs> That's perfect. He loves earrings. <gasps> Where's my other side? Um, it's an uh, ornament. It's an ornament. <laughs> <laughs> but it's too pretty to be on a tree. It's gonna be on my ear. <laughs> This one is just the beginning before they start singing the carols. Can I hear it? So Teddy says, Hi there, I'm Teddy Ruxpin. And Grubby, everybody. Merry Christmas. Hey. Deck the halls? Yeah. Yeah? Deck the halls with bows and holly. Ba la 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 la. Is the season to be jolly. Ba la 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel? Fa la 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 la. Troll the ancient Yuletide carol. Fa la 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 la. Good job. Is that it? That's it. That's short. Yeah, this is a short one. On the fourth day of Christmas, Teddy gave to me four pairs of socks, three cannonballs. Two anythings and woolly in a bogleberry tree. On the first day of Christmas, Grabby on the fifth day of yeah. Christmas, Grabby gave to me five roasted roots, four pairs of socks, three cannonballs, two anythings, and woolly in How a bogleberry socks? tree. How many socks? How many pairs of socks do you see? 
Well, there's eight socks, but how many pairs of socks? Four. Yeah. Dashing through the snow. Yep. Dashing through the snow. Wait, it's Jingle Bell dashing through the snow one. Yeah. But it starts with dashing. Yeah. Okay. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. All the fields we go, laughing all the way, ho, 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 bells and turbans ring, making spirits bright, how fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh is all tonight. Oh, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way, oh, what fun it is to ride a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way, oh, what fun it is to ride a one horse open sleigh. Hey. Good job. Dashing, now what? That it? There's another verse, but I don't know it. Do you? This? It doesn't say it on the page, but there is another verse you can sing, but I don't know the words. Is it do you, are you doing that one in your Christmas show tomorrow? Yeah. Oh. It's this one. Yeah. What's this one? Oh, Christmas tree? Do you know that one? Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. That's all I know. Yeah. Do you know anymore? Uh, no, but I can read it. Yeah. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are thy branches. To every girl and every boy, it speaks of holidays and joy. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. How lovely are thy branches. How's it that long? That's it. How's it's, it long? No, that's, not, that's them talking before the song starts. The words are only here. No, it's a different song. Oh. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. That's all I know. Do you know good tidings we bring to you and your kin? Good tidings on Christmas and a happy new year. Now it's okay. your part. Now it's your part again. Sing it again. Um, we wish you. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The end. That's it. That's it.